Okay, okay, okay. I've got something to admit. I've got a confession to make. I've never seen any of the Sharknado movies, okay? I, I don't know if I'm missing out on anything, but they, I just, I don't know if I care enough. Like, I, I'm aware of the phenomenon, I'm aware of the meme, but memetic movies are a, a weird entity of, of themselves, right? Because they move us at a glacial pace compared to the, the, uh, the discourse of online media. It's bizarre, but either way, this is Cal for my Discord, one of my splices. Put together a shark, NATO, a shark typhoon list. Before we get into that, this is a hashtag free preview. Hashtag free preview. Hashtag free preview. Courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Big shout out and thank you for them providing the VIP accounts that we are using to play these decks and make these videos. I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. I will be your guide into shark country. We cannot stop here, but what we can do, play some wilderness reclamations, like untap our lands, make some sharks, maybe maybe not make any sharks and just play a blue green deck that has Uro and Nissa in it and, like, and win that way and just feel like like you're not really in the spirit of the new VIP event. But I believe what the idea of this deck is, is to buy some time by using uh, borderline oppressive cards like Nissa and Uro. And Poison Labora is not oppressive, but it's, it's very good. Buy some time. Then cast a Sharknado, and then start casting other spells and making sharks. Now, Sharknado is the central part of this deck. Shark Typhoon is an enchantment for six mana. This is when you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature with flying, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. And as you can see, the art on the token, it might just be my favourite token art ever printed. Like, just stop for a moment and feast your eyes on the majesty that it is. That fucking shark token. Look at how beautiful it is. So, what Shark Typhoon allows you to also do, in addition to this whole playing spells and making sharks thing, is that earlier in the game when you can't cast your Sharknado, you can cycle it. So for two mana on X, you can make an XX flying shark, and of course, you're cycling your draw a card. The importance of this, and to explain some history of my time with this card, I didn't realize how good this was until Riley Knight, that's right, Riley Knight of Coverage, CFB, and What's He Fame. On Coverage, we were talking about new cards during the, one of our coverage bouts for, for Channel Fireball, you know, just name dropping and talking about how humbly great I am. But during one of those coverage bouts, he was explaining how this card can make a, a flying threat in end step to pressure a Teferi, a baby Teferi, that can't be countered because it's a triggered ability of a cycling activation. And also can be cast through his, sorry, we're playing Hearthstone now. This card's good. This card's legitimately. This probably is not the right shelf. Hell, I don't even know how to use Wildness Reclamation on, on Arena. Because I am a filthy scrub. But there's got to be a deck using this, right? There's got to be. So we're going to make some sharks. And we're going to make some more sharks. And basically, this is the deck that Cal sent to me. However, we amended it a little bit. Or I amended it a little bit. I added like one or two more black sources and added some heartless acts because strictly better Doom Blade is a pretty good way of dealing with early game pressure. Now, the other new card in this deck is Titan's Nest, which I timed out trying in a practice game before I started recording this because I didn't realize you could cast a spell and then start using the second ability to exile cards as part of its resolution or put it onto the stack. I was manually exiling one card at a time and timed out. It also dumps cards into your grave. So it's got the first half, the weaker half of Search for Us Canter. Still, it's pretty good. Plus a mana accelerant. So, I mean, Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Let's make some sharks. Okay, we're up and we're in. We're playing this Brew Tap Cast. We're playing Sharknado. Now, I've played a couple of practice games before I start recording. I've played against some very... Should we say inverted commas meta decks? Uh, like Flash was one of them. Blue White Control, I think, was the other. Uh, not the most fun thing to try a new brew against. But I guess we are playing World of Most Reclamation and Nyssa. So I don't, we, we might just be the bad guys. Are we the baddies? We kind of want to hit land drops. Fast intervention might last look at one card deep, I guess. I guess we can play a forest here. Past the turn, we can keep up. Petty theft. Is our opponent on blue green something as well? Power Street. We aren't petty thefting that, that's for sure. We drew a growth spiral. Let's just go ahead and growth spiral now. We can put a two fatal passages onto the board. Cool. That's good. That's good. We hit our third and fourth land drops on turn three. Growth spiral confirmed. Quite the good magic card. People are into that card. People are into that card. 
Moru. Interesting. I guess Moru's actually pretty good when it comes to uh, being mutated onto. I think we're going to see mutate for the first time. Here. Track these fetches, grabbing uh, all that. We're going to bounce the Moru because I want to, you know, pump the brakes on whatever our opponent's up to because we need to bide some time. I guess we can Wilderness Wreck now. That allows us to intervention for two next turn. Which allows us to hit our land drop the following turn with a, with a Nissa. This also allows us just to flash in Brazen Borrower if we want to get aggressive. Temple of Mystery from our... Where do they scry to though? The top or the bottom? Where's it going? The bottom. Cool. I'm good. I'm glad. I don't really mean, but I don't want them to find cards they need. Uh, this allows us to put the top two cards into our library. It's in my library into our hand. It's kind of like a bad fact or fiction when X equals two, honestly. Another card that cares about counters. Inter I hate the fact that Thassa's Aura of Intervention doesn't glow. Even when you can pay the second mode. So we're going to look at two cards to our library. We're going to find a Reclamation and a Breeding Pool. We're going to play them both. I'll draw a third Reclamation. I shouldn't have done that. I meant to play the life. I just literally messed up. Flash in a flashy game counter thing. Playing on Nissa there would have been very strong. I kind of wish I did. We drew a Breeding Pool off of our Aura. Which gives us another thing to do with our mana. We can now petty theft something. Okay. We can tap a land, attack us, and then they can pump the growth chamber guardian during combat. Okay, let's brazen borrow uh, this thing. I wish I had a Nissa right now. We get attacked here for a whole bunch, like seven? Close combat, they will be playing the Growth Chamber Guardian, I assume. Yep, yeah, there it is. We'll just cast one of our boys and Boris to threaten the, the Nissa. If we draw another intervention here, then we're pretty, good, pretty set, right? That's not terrible. Let's play a Nissa. Untap our Breeding Pool. We're going to attack Nissa with all of them. They're going to have to plot with the Growth Chamber Guardian here to keep their Nissa around, which is good. So we had to kill something. Now, we untap our lands here. We got a load of mana. We got one blocker. They can play a Mowu. They got tons of mana. They can attack us with a whole bunch of creatures and throw it in our Nissa. Hmm. I guess Nissa dying makes casting our other Uro in the bin. It's the other, the only Uro better. Double green. Uh, playing Mowu and putting the counters on the Windborn Preserver. Is that where, where this is going? Untap the forest. Cast some spells before combat, I assume. I'm going to neutralize the the Mowu. Oh, I was going to attack us. Okay. Sure. I guess I'm going to go to blockers and block one of these. And then use the mana from it to cast a Brazen Ball. Now, I don't have the mana. I don't have the mana to cast Naturalize now. And the reason, Neutralize, the reason that is is because I, I grew my Breeding Pool into a creature. That was incorrect. Here comes the Moru. Can I cast? Oh, I do. I'm an idiot. No, I'm do I know I don't. This makes a blue. Okay, now it... Unfortunately, my friends, it resolves. They can now dump a ton of mana into this Windborn Preserver. What's that, five mana? They opted not to. Oh, they they also made a mistake. Which is nice, it makes my whole not playing Nissa earlier a little better. If I'm not playing Blue Green Flash here, I'm not playing enough Sharknado nonsense. I wonder what the Sharknado into play. They've got one more card left in hand. I kinda wanna circle the new neutralize and I've messed up my mana and my tapping, but I can't. I've gotta get in and kill the Nissa. An Ivy Elemental, eh? Okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. This has reach? Since when? Okay. I'm gonna go to combat and attack Nyssa. And they can trade in the Wind Wildborn Preserver to keep Nyssa alive if they want to. They know it's got reach, yeah, they do. Okay. We're then going to tick up Nissa. No, we're not. We're going to double green. T 
pick up Nissa. Then we're going to make blue, blue, cast the titan. Yeah, that seems good. Let's go to field passage, field passage, breeding pool, and growth spiral, and brazen borrow. I don't even know if I think it brings stuff back from the yard in this deck. Bring back our big titan, our six mana titan. He's going to... Gain us some life and draw us a card. We're going to put this to play. We're going to pay two life to get it. We can go big Nissa again. To make another body. Which untaps at the end of turn. And then we're going to tick up the new Nissa. To untap our Zagoff Triome. Which will then tap for blue. Which will add an extra green to our mana pool. Which allows us to play this other Uro. I'm going to keep the one that's not going to die. This one. And then we get the trigger. And we untap our mana. And we have one neutralized to, to make good with this turn. Luckily they only have one spell in hand. As long as it's not a Hydroid Crasis, which would draw them many, many cards thanks to the trigger. Then our neutralized is going to do us a whole load of good. I can counter this, right? It doesn't say can't be countered. Let's find out. You can definitely threaten my Nissa here, but they lose a load of stuff. But then again, so do we, so maybe we just let Nissa die. They decided not to. Okay. On my turn, I'm going to play a Scryland. I'm going to scry that to the top. Yeah, counter spells are good. I thought counter spells are good. We're going to go to combat and attack with an Uro at them. Which draws us the Neutralize. Now they can block with a load of stuff or they can just take it. They just took it. Sweet. We're going to play a Temple... Uh, play? We're going to tick up on a Temple of Mystery. We're going to play one more Reclamation here. And then we can do like tricksy stuff with our mana, but... I don't think we want to. I don't even know how to make Arena do it, honestly. Because you can tap your lands in response to each trigger, right? But uh, I'm not going to try doing that unless we have an X spell like Thassa's Intervention. I just realised I don't have a Reach creature anymore. I could have easily killed Nyssa with my, with my Brazer and Borrower. Yeah, that was a mistake. They can now get another 3-3 three, three out of it. Yep. Okay. Do you come at me, fam? Is that what happens here? Are we trading lands for lands? Okay, let's cycle one of these. Do another land, okay. My turn. Another land. Let's go Temple of Malady. What's on top? Breeding board. Let's bottom that. Let's uptick and choose our Temple of Malady. Go ahead and pull. Let's cycle this. We don't need another land. Cycling that seems better. Let's draw something good. Nope, I lied. I lied about drawing something good. Kill Nissa. Attack them with the Titan. Put a little mystery into play. Scry one. Put it on the breed and pull the bottom of our library. Nissa dies. Do they block my 6-6? Six, six? It would make sense to double block and get off the board, but I can just recast it, so... It doesn't seem too hot. Then Nissa is dead. They take 6. I cannot protect you. Let's cast Growth Spiral. We'll see if I can find something. Shark Typhoon. Sweet. I'm just going to cast it. Oh, I can't. Well, that's... chuff and depressing, isn't it? Okay, well, we're not going to... We're not going to... Cast. We're not going to cycle it. We're going to cast it next turn, then cast Wilderness Reclamation, then probably neutralize our own Wilderness Reclamation just to ensure that we get enough. That we're, what the? Okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, on my turn, we untap. We've got a lot of mana here, but 
Hmm. Let's go forest. Let's cast Shark Typhoon. Yep. We <laughs> Chat, we got there. That's a Shark Typhoon. We're now going to... One, two, three... Four. Yeah, so we can uptick on this forest. It's reclamation, which makes us a 4-4 four, four flying shark. I mean, if they scoop, I'm going to be a little bit upset because I haven't seen the tokens properly yet. Oh, look at that token. That's sick. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Next, we're just swinging with a brazen borer. An Uro. Uro's going to gain us three life and draw us a card. It's another shark typhoon. We're actually one mana short of casting another shark typhoon, which is a bit of a shame. They double block our Uro. They're going to take three from the borrower. We're going to kill their creatures. They've got so many sentences to keep one of them alive, actually. So we're going to send their Temple of Mystery by putting a counter on it. We're going to go damage and kill the Mystery. Get them for three. I'm just going to escape our oh, Titan again. Yeah, Titan! Uro is dumb. Like, Uro is just dumb. Just absolutely dumb. I mean, this is already known. This is nothing new, right? Shark Typhoon on top of our library. I would like to hold full control. Okay. Holding full control doesn't matter, apparently. I wonder... Ah, oh, that was dumb. God, Arena can be bad sometimes. My turn. Okay, well, I guess we have to cast multiple Sharknadoes. That's nice. Let's go Sharknado number two. I mean, thematically, we are sort of spinning around. Right? That's kind of what's happening now with these sharks. And then we cast another Sharknado. Which triggers more Sharknadoes. And then we're going to go to combat again. I haven't killed them yet because I kind of... Do they have something with reach? We're just going to go with the Uro and the, the Borrower. I should attack with a Shark the correct thing to do, but I kind of want to make more more Sharknadoes, you know? Well, Heartless Act seems bad against the Simic Ascendancy deck. That's pretty funny. This is the worst matchup for that card. I'm going to put some counters on Mowu. And I'm going to respond by killing Mowu. And then they're going to have to respond by putting more counters on Mowu. But we get like three Sharks out of this, so I don't really mind. We're doing the whole make sharks thing. Yeah, so they put counters on Moru. Heartless summoning, uh, Heartless Act is countered. What we could have done was during the block was just take some counters off of Moru. Um, that could have been pretty good. Uh, we're going to untap our mana at the end of turn. Next turn we can just swing with a lot of sharks, I guess. I guess messing about might result in them making a, a, a bazillion mana and uh, killing us with Civic Ascendancy. I should have counted that. I would have got more sharks. That was dumb. My turn. Okay. How many sharks can I make this turn? Let's go ahead and make this into a creature. We're going to cast Wilderness Reclamation. We're going to auto pay for it. And we're going to hold control. Please hold control. I would like to... Hold control, there we go. And then we're going to counter the Wilderness Reclamation. Just so we've got a lot of sharks in play, right? Like, it's not a Sharknado unless there's at least ten sharks. That's what that's what my mother always used to say during shark season. If there wasn't ten sharks in play, we weren't doing it right. And I was like, Mum, what do you mean in play? We're fighting for our lives here. And she'd be like, shut up, child. Okay, so we now have uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13 sharks in play, which is a million mana. That's just a million mana. And then we're going to just make a an arrow because why not, right? Do we draw another spell to make any more sharks? 
That's what I'm doing here. I just want to make some more sharks. Maximize shark mana. You know? We drew a, a biome. Declined to put that into play. I guess we just... I don't know if this is lethal. Okay? I don't know if this is lethal. I think it's lethal. Th thinking. <laughs> Our opponent is thinking about the amount of sharks that they've seen. Go put more counters on Moru. I mean, they're actually halfway towards winning with Moru. Never really thought about it. Hmm. So I block my the nine nine blocks my three three. The Temple of Mystery blocks. I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle this. Draw another passage. Okay. We successfully sharked our opponent pretty badly. And by sharked, I mean, like, hit them with sharks out of the tornado. Not, you know, did a dodgy trade with them. Fun fact, I once saw a very dodgy judge. He doesn't really play much magic anymore, thank goodness. But he actually, he, he traded a kid, like, in a Johnny Vengeance, the old promo for, like, some Wrath of God, thinking, I can't remember which way around it was, but he thought he had done really well. And he walked away from this trade. I don't know about it after the fact. Then when we checked... The kid was actually up on money. So he tried to shark him and failed. Some people in my local area know what player that is. What judge that is. Most judges I love. But this guy was a piece of work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this has been Sharknado. I've been Vince reporting from inside the Sharknado. Um, we got there, fam. We did it. There were sharks and everything.